Hey everybody, hope you're all excited for this Dragon Quest collab that just landed. In case you don't know, Dragon Quest is a series that predates Final Fantasy, so it's actually quite funny because Final Fantasy took inspiration from the original Dragon Quest game, and now Squaresoft pretty much owns Enix, which is the original creator of this series. So that is actually kind of funny. So let's go into the summons here. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to be pulling for Pissarro. So I haven't played a Dragon Quest game in a long time. I played the original Dragon Quest, which in America was called Dragon Warrior. So I found this picture that I posted on Facebook in 2016. And that's this picture here. I wish I could go back in time and show this to myself as a kid. We finally made it. So when I was younger, I wa actually wanted a game that my cousin had, and it was called Wizards and Warriors, and that would be this game right here. But when my dad asked me what I wanted for my birthday, I asked for Dragon Warrior. I didn't know what Dragon Warrior was, but it must have somehow gotten in my mind through a commercial or through some sort of magazine ad. And I didn't know what I was doing in that game. I had never played an RPG before. This is pretty much the first RPG that ever came out. And I didn't know what I was doing in that game as a six year old kid or whatever I was. And it literally took me until 2006 to beat the game. So that was that's what that screenshot was. Anyway, let's get into the summons here. What I'm gonna do is the nine steps. So let's actually just look at this really quickly just to double check. Drop rates for Pissarro are 0.08, which is the standard unit drop rate, the non half rate drop rate. And I click the wrong button here. And on the normal banner, it's just about the same drop rate. So there is a slight difference in the two banners where in one banner, I think it's UR could only be units. And then thinking the other banner, everything is a unit. So I think to me, it's a better idea to do the ninth step. You get your two free steps and you get your blossoms and all that stuff along the way. So I'm just going to go from here. Personally, uh, the normal banner is the 5% banner. So you would have to go all the way to get the pity. Um, considering this is a normal rate unit. I'm going to take the nine step route because I think the odds are in your favor in terms of pulling him early, whichever one you go for. So let's get started here and let's see what we get. And so consume 2000 Vizier. For some reason, I think I'm spending paid Vizier here. All right, let's see what we get. And I thought I turned on the animations. But that might have been on my phone. I'm on my iPad right now. Because my phone is really slow. My iPad is pretty slow too, so... Yeah, either way, I'm kind of screwed here. So let's see if we could actually look at the animation this time. And it's looking like a brown book. Oh, well, at least there's a chance at the top, so... So this vision card at the bottom is not going to update. So we basically have to go all the way to the end. Let's see if we can get a rainbow here. No. So yeah, I think pretty much any MR at this point is not useful whatsoever. I think maybe what they should do is throw some... Because we're getting... The MRs we're getting, we have to earn the shards. So I feel like they should probably just throw some of those MRs into the pool. Maybe get rid of some of the older MRs. And as I say that, we get a golden book here, which is good. It's better to get a golden book on the free step, on the paid steps. But this is not a paid step, a uh, visual step, I should call it. Um, because you get the star shards, and on the free step, you don't get the star shards. So, yeah, that's kind of one bad thing about it. Okay, so this thing is like auto-scrolling along with me pressing it, so... Rainbow, let's see what we get here. Sweetheart Eldira. So actually, she's not bad. I have her maxed, but she's not bad because she is going to pair up with Pissarro pretty well. So 
that's going to be a good one if you don't have her maxed. All right, so let's kind of keep going here. So that's already one gold book. Here's another one. So this is a good gold book because it's not on a free step. Yikes, man. Oh, well, at least we got one change there. With a whole lot of blue otherwise. So it's not even giving us like a little bit of a hope that we can get a rainbow. It's like, nah, the best you can get is yellow. Alright, so let's see what we get here. Is it going to be Pissarro? Is it going to be... I actually need another unit. I need Yorel, so please be Yorel, actually. Uh, is this her? Or is it... I don't know who this is, actually. Oh, this is the Archer girl. Okay, well, I'll take her. Probably not going to build her, but... Charisse. I'm probably not going to build her. But I'm actually glad to get her. And I gotta say, Wolf Atlas, if you're watching this, we are now tied in UR units. F considering you're gonna pull for someone. Oh, no, I don't really want to rate the game now. This is not the unit I was going for. But considering he's gonna pull for someone in this collab, I believe, once he pulls for that unit, and once I get my Pissarro here, we should be tied. Okay, so looks like we actually have a chance of a couple of rainbows. I'm not a fan of the auto scroll. Okay, yellow. So that's the, the card is yellow guaranteed. Can this be a rainbow? No. Ah, Titus. Okay, so let's see if we get a rainbow here. So two rainbows so far. That's actually not even bad. Okay. Perfect. Um, I already asked for URL. I, I feel like that gave me the luck of somebody else. So let's get Fisaro on this pull. Ruins turn. He kind of looks like Fisaro. Not really. So yeah, guys. In case you don't know, um, the artwork for Dragon Quest is done by Akira Toriyama. The same guy who does the artwork for Dragon Ball. And he's also in the past done artwork for Chrono Trigger. So, in my opinion, Sorrow kind of looks a lot like... Ooh, we got another rainbow. Sorrow kind of looks like a lot like Magus or Magus. I've heard some people call him Magus, but I think it's Magus. I don't really know. From Chrono Trigger. And he also kind of looks like Vegeta. And that's because it's all the same artist. Chrono from Chrono Trigger looks a lot like Goku. And you know what? I can't draw, so I'm not really complaining about that, but <laughs> I just find it to be really interesting. Okay, so let's see if we get our Pissarro here on the free step. And another UR on a free step, which is not going to give us star shards. And we get Sodaly. Wow. So I actually pulled Sodaly randomly. But it's interesting to get a 100 cost unit. I would have much preferred Glacella off of that. Alright, so yeah, let's keep going here. Looks like we might be finishing this nine step. We got a silver book. Let's skip that animation and just go right to the end here. So the thing is, even with the nine step, even if we don't pull within the nine step, uh, we're going to have the medals and we're just going to be able to pity. So for whatever reason, I guess it's since it's collab, all the units and everything, yeah, that went auto, so all the units, all the cards are going to all be on separate banners, it seems like, so that's going to be a little bit rough. But, you know, maybe if you wait for another week, you might be able to pull one card and one unit together as the same pity, and that way you can do the guaranteed and then get use the pity medals. So I may, I may have been a fool for pulling this week. I should have just waited till next week. But that's okay. I'll live. I pretty much have my... Ooh, that's bad. So you can't pull a UR card. So let's just skip this one. I pretty much have enough fizz planned out for the upcoming units. So to me, it doesn't really matter how long it takes to pull. 
I'm just gonna keep pulling here. Okay, so silver book. Ooh, that's not good. So let's go all the way through. It's probably not gonna change the rainbow, but it's possible. <sighs> probably not though. Let's see it change to yellow. And yeah. Okay, so these are some pretty bad pulls so far. That's okay, at least we got to finish the nine step. So let's take a little break here. Let's go into the mock shop. So when they originally came out with these 5% banners, what they would do is that they would have the blossoms and all the good stuff in here. But there's none of that here anymore. So I'm not really sure what the point of the 5% banner is other than to reduce the amount of chance to get the the small pity per character. So let's keep going here. I'm not going to do the paid poll, so let's just go with the 10 times summon. I've been very stingy with my paid vizier. Pretty much, it's already January, so pretty much all of last year. Alright, so we get another rainbow here, so that's. We've had some pretty good rainbow luck, and we're actually going to get two rainbows, so that's not bad. So ideally, I'd want to get URL, but obviously I want Pissarro most of all. So if we get two Pissarros, I don't have a problem with that. So let's see what we get here. A Medina! Okay. Okay quite possibly one of the worst things we can get. Alright, so this should be a rainbow. Could it be Pissarro? There we go. Okay, so we got the Pissarro. That's awesome. Okay, so that took 10 steps, which is not that bad. So that means we can use our metals to get shards. So yay for us. Um, okay, so let's talk about this collab a little bit more. Um, I was actually, I don't, since I don't know that much about Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest has traditionally been a JP series. Obviously, I do know some about Dragon Quest. Obviously, we all know about the slime. He's like the iconic character, monster in the series. But the interesting thing about this collab is that all the units are actually villains. I think that's the first time we have all villains for a collab. The slime is technically a villain, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, so in this collab, there's actually a slime mission, which is actually a little bit harder than... Oh, no, we get to build them for free, so technically it's not harder than a, a free UR that we usually get. But this mission that we have here is actually pretty decently challenging you have to complete it with slime so you have to complete the first step of this mission and then you can unlock this you unlock the slime and then you can play these uh, it's actually a bit challenging and you actually have to build up the slime along the way so it's sort of similar to Lucio's mission and the last mission is actually decently challenging um, I did it with no Esper Resonance, but I think you're, we're going to need like Esper Resonance to be able to complete this last mission here. And also to be able to kind of survive well in this mission, I think you need to build them up a little bit more. Okay, so that's one fun thing about the collab. There's bingo boards for the characters as usual. And there's a bingo board just for doing... I guess the slime missions and some other stuff and that gives you a bunch of good stuff here on the right um, so one other thing I wanted to remind you guys and I wanted to make sure I didn't forget is it's a new month and it's a new the first refresh of the month so we have the chance to get our MR tickets here and our SR tickets so that's going to be another five 
and then R. I'm probably going to get this UR here too. This one MR here. And the one SR. Oh, not that. So, along with the event quest that we have for this event, we also have this here. So, you can earn these along the way, and you can get you can get yourself 20 mind spheres or you can get yourself some of these for upgrading plus six weapons which are actually pretty good and then we have our the thing that we usually get our standard fare here where you can just get blo a blossom a rainbow sphere orbs of envisionment etc and usually there's guild snipers at the bottom and awakening prisms here and uh what are these called fragments so those are pretty good too so then the last thing is the shop. The shop, I don't think the shop is all that impressive this time. So that's good because you don't have to spend much. Uh, this was interesting here. For 2,000 paid, you get five, five times the value, quote unquote. Uh, and you can get 200 of your choice of UR units. So that's anyone in, in the standard pool, including 100 cost units. So that's pretty cool. Um, I thought that was pretty much the best thing on here and then here you can buy blossoms but I don't think there was anything particularly good in here we're not even getting our uh, pots so I'm a little sad about that but here there's some pretty decent deals in the special price shop everything is five paid viz so I think this one was good not that one this one is decent for the broadstone and then this one is really good that's the one I would buy because you get the 10 rainbow spheres for 5 paid that's not bad and then you get 15 potions here oh I have elite potions that's pretty cool <sighs> I don't know if I'm too old if I'm the only one that's going to know what elite means <sighs> jeez I feel old now but we also have some more summons we can do here um, I think we did get an MR 10 times summon this one somewhere I think that was in the in the inbox so let's start off with that see if we get anything good okay so we, at least we got a rainbow but it's a card well there's still some cards I need actually so that's a good thing Leviathan is not a card that I needed. That I needed. All right, let's save the UR for last. Okay, so let's start with SR. Okay, brown book. Probably nothing good here. And I'm kind of kind of stalling it out just to kind of pad the length of the video so people think, oh, I had to go all the way to pity. <laughs> Little do they know that I'm padding the video. All right, so vision card one, a single there. That's a skip, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it was only one, so didn't really make a difference. Alright, so MR guaranteed division card. Alright, so this one can actually change to rainbow. And it doesn't. Okay. And you know what? We might as well do our rare tickets at the end also. Let's do our five here. I think I only have like seven rare tickets because I used them all up last week. Okay, so, well, MR guaranteed. I don't know why I was so excited to see yellow there. Maybe because I have blue at the top and yellow is the best that we're going to get here. So that was useless. 
Okay, so last chance to get anything decent here. Please give me URL. Actually, this is a vision card, so please give me a vision card that I need. It's probably going to be like Trousseau. Oh, okay. The Dark Fina card. Is that new? Okay, so that's new. That's pretty awesome. I'll definitely take that. Then let's scroll up to the scroll down to the rare summons. I have eight right now. So let's just do all eight. So at least this is gonna be worth star shards, vision shards, whatever they're called. And it's another vision card. And it actually changes to rainbow. We already got one good one, so let's see if we, we could get another one. It's a good one, but I already have that maxed, obviously. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. Let me end it there. Thank you guys for watching. And I guess I'll see you next week for the, for the VC. And part of me thinks I should have waited for next week, but I think it's fine anyway. 10 pulls for for the unit was actually not that bad so okay guys have a good one and hope you guys have some good luck with your polls if you decide to pull later